Okay, so something that is kind of challenging, especially to newer Linux users, is compiling software. Once in a while, you have some esoteric piece of software that you need that's not in your default repository. There's no third-party repository. And hopefully, if you're in that situation, um, the developer has a public Git with some detailed documentation of how to compile the software. Um, I came into a situation where I'm fixing my mom's Windows 10 lap, uh, computer and I needed to make a Windows 10 bootable thumb drive. And Debian, out of the box, there's not an easy way to do that. However, there's a program that I'm interested in using called uh, Woe USB. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, it's got pre-built packages for Fedora, Arch, and Ubuntu but I'm running Debian stable. So I have to learn how to compile this. But they have the instructions here and the instructions are really well laid out. So let's compile this application. So first thing that I'm gonna do, of course, is I'm gonna grab the, uh, the Git. Let's see, I think I have a fresh, here we are. I have a fresh terminal ready to go. So I can git clone. If you don't have Git already installed, um, it's just sudo apt install git. So now we have the source code for this. And because the documentation is really well done on this one, we basically just kind of follow down to the, uh, the notes here. So first thing they want us to do is setting the application version string. I, I really don't understand what this does. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's really needed, but it's in the documentation. So let's give it a shot. So that's dot set. Oops, there we go. Everything seems to be legit on that one. Here they're asking us to get some packages installed. Um, dev scripts, equivs, and GW core. I already have those installed um, because I've done this before, obviously. I, well, actually, when I needed the thumb drive, I built it, and now I'm just building again for you guys. Um, yeah, so I guess we just make sure we're in the folder and we do mk build depths, which is a script they got in there, which, oops, <laughs> copy that. Let's uh, control C, boop. And this is gonna build, um, yeah, there it is. It made a deb file called uh, wo usb build dependencies. Awesome. And then now we need to well, we need to install those. We need those dependencies built so we can build the second package. So sudo gdebi dot dot slash. Oh no, it's in the, it's in the main folder here. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, USB to build dependencies. So I run that. This is this is a safe package even though it's not signed because I literally built it from the source code. So as long as you trust where the source code's coming from, I guess is the way to look at it. So that's installed now. Let's look at the next step. Now it's all about building the package. Okay, D package, build package, UCB. See, this is it's basically just following steps the way they lay it out there. And it starts compiling. Look at that. Um, obviously, uh, not every application is going to have documentation that's this well laid out. Um, so your results may vary, but usually, usually if it's a application that's needed and something you really want in your system, it's usually gonna have pretty good documentation. Um, I compiled OBS, which I'm actually using right now to record this, um, using their guide of compiling for Debian. And it was pretty much the same thing. It was follow the steps, make sure you read each detail, make sure you're doing it right, because sometimes there's variables if you're running this or running that. Um, but most of the time, it's, it's pretty straightforward and pretty obvious. And not nearly as scary as a lot of people think it is. I think we're about done here. Almost. Yep, there it is. Done. So now if we look in the folder, we have a lot of things going on here, but I think L, L, oops, ls dot dot slash. 
got both files ready to rock. All right, at this point, we just install the second file. So, g, oh, sudo gdebbie dot slash whoa usb underscore three, there we go, dot deb. And yes, I would like to install it. And lo and behold, the dependencies are installed, the main application is installed, and we can go to the thing and there it is. Our USB builder to make Windows ISOs on the thumb drive. So again, this is not necessarily a challenging thing because most of the documentation is going to be handled for you. If it's not, I mean, that is a, as a possibility. It happens once in a while, but most of the time, if it's um, updated and part of a community like uh, Woe USB or something bigger like OBS, the documentation is going to be pretty good. And sometimes they even have scripts to help you out. So don't be scared of compiling applications from source. All right, guys. Thanks for checking this out. Peace.